Hi Shoebox friends, this is Denise from D. Rogers. Welcome back to my channel where I hope to give you inspirations and ideas and resources for your shoebox packing. Today I'm excited to show you this box for a boy 10 to 14. Okay, my box today is 10 to 14. I've used this 107 rubber band that Christy recommends and it works great. So you only really need one rubber band on those boxes that are very full. And when I take his lid off, you will see that it's decorated in a baseball theme. It says, Jesus loves you. And those are just Valentines that I have used spray adhesive to attach to the lid. And if I turn the box around and you can see Everything's falling out of his box, but that's what's in his box. So the first thing that flew out was this little um, muslin bag that I stenciled. It's a baseball and a glove. And inside he has a couple of dice. And he has this little game that I found online. It's called Roll a Face and roll a landscape. And what I did is I just reduced the size, printed them back to back, and laminated them so they would fit in this little bag. Okay, and right on top he has a shark. This is in, I think they're called Itty Bitties from the Hallmark store. And uh, if you're familiar with the Washington Nationals, which is our baseball team. We won the World Series in 2019. It was very exciting, I got to go. And um, our big theme was the baby shark. So that is related to the theme of this box. And I got this on clearance at my local Hallmark last summer. They had a huge clearance. I think it was like $1.39 and I think they're regular like $6.99 or something like that. Okay, of course it's a baseball theme box. He has a Rawlings baseball, and I got this from Walmart. I don't remember the price, but I only buy things on clearance, so I'm sure it was a good deal. Okay, he has a cross in here, and it's a wooden cross from a company called Cross the World, and I like to put those in the older boy boxes. Then he has a soap dish. And in his soap dish, he has um, some band-aids. He has a little valentine that says, you're a home run with googly eyes. And he has two little surprises. This is a little gorilla. I got him from Michael's. And a little giraffe. Just stuck in the crevice of the soap box. Okay. This box was, like I said, very hard to pack. Normally, it's ideal if you can pack all the school supplies in the school pencil pouch. But when you're packing, it doesn't always work out the best way that way. You can't always get everything in. So the way that I pack this one, the pencil pouch is flat on the bottom and the school supplies are loosely in the box. It was the only way I could make it all fit. So let's see, he has a glue stick and a chapstick. He has several pens and pencils, decorated ones, Ticonderoga. He has a shark fun pencil that I got from Hobby Lobby. He has a set of colored pencils. Those are rubber banded together. He has a calculator, that's from Dollar Tree. He has some erasers and a little plastic baggie. And of course there's a baseball and a rocket, and then like a little googly-eyed creature. He has a pencil sharpener. He has another little pencil sharpener, and he has a highlighter, blue highlighter, and he has a pair of scissors. I think that's most of his school supplies. Okay, he has this little egg baseball that I got on Easter clearance. And inside are his pencil caps. 
And then this little necklace that I like to make, I'm sure you've seen it in another of my video. I get the crosses from Joanne Fabrics and the cording I attach to make it a boy's necklace. He has a blue fidget spinner. The Nationals colors are um, red, white, and blue. Okay, so this is kind of a wow item. This is called the Screamer Sawtooth. It is a harmonica. It's a really nice quality harmonica. It comes with a um, cloth. I've ordered these from several places. This I happened to get from Amazon. They were $23.42 for seven, so I, it ended up being $3.34 for each one. He also has this little game that I got this Connect for from Dollar Tree that Jessica from Foothills Family recommended. And the quality is really great. I went and found a few and it's very sturdy, very good quality. She gave it a really good review. Her kids liked it. The one thing that I did is I added a little set of directions with a visual that I found on WikiHow. WikiHow is a website that you can go to and pretty much type in how to do anything. And you can find visuals and directions um, and different things to make up your own little printable. So that's what I did for that one. If you're interested in that one, I don't have a website, but email me and I'm glad to send you what I put together. He has a wooden comb. Christy introduced me to these and I just love these. He has a flashlight. He has an extra set of batteries covered and taped on both ends for his flashlight. He has this really fun pencil case that I got at Walmart. When you open it up, it looks like he has teeth, which I thought was so cute and fun. So that'll be for all of his school supplies. He has a pair of socks that I got from Walmart recently on clearance. He has a face mask in the shape or the scene is a baseball that I got at Walmart also. He has two red, white, and blue cars that I recently got at Dollar Tree. He has a little shark um, it's, you know, that parachute, like you throw it up in the air and it comes down. I got that at Valentine's Day clearance. He has a water bottle. This is a collapsible water bottle. A friend of mine named Valerie Swain recommended these to me, so I just ordered them. Uh, they were $14.27 for 10, so they were $1.43 each. Uh, I really had a goal to include more water bottles this year and sometimes it's really hard to get it all in there and this I think was a good idea so I'm giving it a try. I encourage you to visit Val's uh, website or channel. She just started videotaping um, unboxings. It's V Swain and she's a very creative packer. We've developed a friendship just through shoeboxing and we've never met in person but I feel like I know her so well, so I encourage you to go to her channel. This is from Valentine's Day. It's one of those little baseball poppers. I, there it goes. <laughs> um, that I stuck in there. Okay, these are those little flip frogs that I got for after clearance on Valentine's Day. And then I included in here a little printable, and it's a little target. For the frogs so you flip it and you can get points i laminated it printed it out two sides and i found this on simplyshoeboxes.com uh, this is a website that has free printables also for us shoeboxers okay and so let's see he has this really great shirt it is a baseball themed shirt goes perfect with this it's one of those soft materials that when it gets wet, it dries quickly. And I got this at Walmart last summer on clearance for $2. Okay, he has, this is the notebook for him. I got this at Dollar Tree. It's like a lenticular 
where he's playing baseball. I just recently got those. And he has a backpack, a really nice backpack that I got from Ikea for $1.99. On the bottom he has a play pack, a Hot Wheels play pack. He has a little stencil, a Hot Wheels stencil that I got from Valentine's Day. A toothbrush. A washcloth on the very bottom, blue. And he has a couple of games that I got in Valentine's Twister and a Connect 4 game. Oh, and this is another little printable from Simply Shoeboxes on how to play the frog game. And on the bottom he has some stickers, some baseball stickers, some Hot Wheels stickers. Uh, this was a sticker set that I got from Oriental Trading a year ago. He has a letter from us, a card from us. It's kind of a sports card, so it's got baseball, soccer, and football on it. And our picture's inside. And he has an I Draw book, Sea Life, from the Dollar Tree. And I included this because it has a shark in it. And he has a ruler on the very bottom. This is an eight inch ruler and centimeters on the other side that I got on Amazon. And the last item I wanted to review with you is he has a fishing kit. This is a medicine bottle and it has a label on the front that says my fishing kit. I've included fishing kits in my boxes for years. I don't put them in every box, but just on occasion. I'm not a pro fisherman. I did fish when I was a little girl. And um, I just followed suggestions on different sites of what to include. So I'll show you what's in my fishing kit. So I have some fishing line and I rolled it up on a piece of cardboard. I usually buy 10 pound at least um, for the fishing line. He has a set of nail clippers to cut the line when he needs to cut it. And this is actually a pair of um, Gosh, what do you call these? Pliers? Or, oh, I forget what they're called. But I, I, these were in a jewelry set. And I thought these would be very helpful to include in the bottle for um, getting the hooks out of the fish. Not something that's needed, but I thought it would be something nice to include. He has a few band-aids actually in his fishing kit because when you go fishing, you can get your finger caught on a hook. And here comes my kitty cat. Hi, sweetie. This is called a leader. This is not required, but this can help catch fish. Um, it helps, let's see, how do I explain it? It helps them not see the fishing line, and it can also help with the strength of getting a fish in. It's not required, but it's helpful. These are required, these are hooks. I get these from Walmart when they go on sale. They always have a clearance in their fishing department and I stock up a little bit. I've put them on a piece of packaging material so that the hook goes right into the packaging material, just like a piece of styrofoam. And if you hear noise in the background, we're getting a new deck. So I'm very excited about my new deck, but not about the noise. In his fishing kit, he has a little printable that I also found on WikiHow. And it shows you how to um, tie your fishing line onto your hook. And just a general picture of the, um, uh, the bobber, the sinker, and the hook and the fish. Kind of like how it looks. I felt like that was all he really needed. Most of the kids, I think, could figure this out. So these are the bobbers, and these are the sinkers or weights. So I've included two each of those, and then some lures or some bait. And I just included a bag with a variety. 
So I think if he lives near a small lake or a river, you probably could catch something pretty small um, or just have fun learning how to fish. And I've put fishing kits in all kinds of things, bigger kits, um, medicine kits, medicine bottles. Um, I've even used an M&M's bottle. Um, you know, they, as long as it's small and they can, carry, you can, they can carry it easily, I think it works pretty well. Okay, so that's his fishing kit. All right, so that's my box for my boy 10 to 14. This is my baseball theme box. Uh, go Nats, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. I encourage you to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you in another video very soon. Have a blessed day, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.